my PhD was based on ultrasound uh, microbubbles, and I was involved uh, in the first year of my postdoc. I was involved in focused ultrasound uh, for delivering certain particles into brain using BBB opening technique. And there from, uh, I'm quite interested. After that, I changed my field because of certain things. And then I moved to Alzheimer's disease because of my personal interest. And then I realized that uh, now uh, Alzheimer's, they, they were a, a group from Colombia. They kind of performed uh, BBB opening for Alzheimer's patients, basically, to deliver this uh, therapies. Uh, what ultrasound does, like they inject the small micro bubbles into the blood pool and then it goes to the circulate into blood pool and then they apply ultrasound uh, to the brain and uh, with a certain frequency and certain amplitude so that these bubbles kind of like massage this blood brain barrier so that this blood brain barrier uh, will open a certain time frame window if you apply certain amplitude and frequency again, stressing out, depends on the skull. Of course, it was. It is mainly done in animals, tested in animals only. Like you know, because the uh, ultrasound has uh, limitations because it cannot propagate well in the skull. Uh, if you apply certain frequencies, the skull will heat it up. Uh, it's it's very hard. And then they have this cooling machines and all these things. It can cool up, and then that's what they came up now. And then they open this BBB using this micro bleed, micro bubbles, and then uh, doing these therapies. That's one area. Another area, there is another theory uh, hypothesis. Well, they kind of showing it. Um, what happens when you do stimulations with a uh, focused ultrasound? It instigate this microglia in the in the brain. Basically, it. it this instigation of this microglia, or it activates microglia, the activation of microglia actually eaten up this, um, or cleaning this uh, amyloid accumulations. So what they found, they see decreased of amyloid with this activation of microglia using ultrasound stimulations. That's another area of interest of, with ultrasound. That's very cool idea but I have my own opinion on that. Um, what about the long-term effects? For example, like you know, if you instigate uh, microglia, uh, my, you know, it can also provide this inflammations, which can lead to multiple sclerosis. It's, so I have, I have interest in that area um, and I wanted to be part of that discussions, being as a guest editor for that uh, journal.